Uh, as we told you, Hot Spots Magazine will celebrate 37 years. Uh, and as we begin 2023, we move into our 38th. It has been documenting the LGBTQ plus lifestyle and is the spirit of, uh, and that is the spirit of Hot Spots uh, Queer Entertainment this week, sponsored by the Broward Center for Performing Arts. In the LGBTQ plus community, we always make the joke about size matters. When it comes to Broward Center, size does matter. The Broward Center for the Performing Arts is the destination of choice for LGBTQ plus South Florida, for spectacular entertainment in a large variety of performance venues. Broward Center ranks among the top 10 most visited theaters in the entire world, presenting more than 700 performances a year to more than 700,000 patrons. Huh. Broward Center is the home for LGBTQ plus entertainers, shows, Broadway, national drag performances, LGBTQ plus choral events, and so much more. And Broward Center supports one of the world's largest gay communities. That's Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, and really all over South Florida. They support the LGBTQ plus community and our nonprofits, unlike any other theater in South Florida. And we're excited to tell you in the upcoming shows about the rich 22-23 season that the Broward Center for Performing Arts will bring to our LGBTQ plus community. And oh, by the way, did you know that surveys show that the LGBTQ plus community participates in live theater performances two and a half times more often than our straight counterparts. And Duh. that's why Josie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just says Duh. <laughs> Duh. That's why they are the sponsor of Hotspots Queer Entertainment this week. So the Tony, Grammy, and Emmy winning actor is getting his much deserved flowers. In a ceremony this week, the legendary actor and director, um, uh, Poe Star, received a, a star on the iconic Walk of Fame. And he got to do it all with his husband by his side. His uh, words uh, after receiving the star touched our hearts. And he said, quote, I'm grateful uh, of having lived long enough to see the day that my queerness is no longer my liability but now is my greatest superpower. I'm grateful to stand in front of the world as an out and loud and proud representation of being black, queer, and HIV positive, and what it looks like in 2022, mm. end quote. His Instagram post said, quote, impossible dreams are coming true at this moment, end quote. And what makes us more excited is his upcoming interview that we are going to show you that I had with him. Thank you, thank you so much for this honor. I am humbled, I am thrilled. God bless you all, thank you. Love you all. My husband is here too, I forgot to say that. Child, you got to, you got to say the husband, honey. <laughs> Well, our Hot Spots Queer Entertainment headline of the week, Billy Porter. He kisses his husband, receiving his star on the Walk of Fame, and then he has and participates in the big interview with me. We can't wait to show it to you. What do you all think about Billy Porter? Gets his star, his contribution to... Uh, so well deserved. Well deserved. So well deserved. The man has had such a, an illustrious career yeah. like, that a lot of people don't even know about because it hasn't been mainstream for a long time. Mm -hmm. But just an incredible performer. I mean, have you? Did you see the um, the clip of him like out of the awards show that James Corden was hosting, and he just called him up out of nowhere? He just struck up the band, and it was a performance worthy of the award <laughs> show. And it was a last minute thing. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. he's such a talent. Yeah. I got to hang out with Billy Porter one night and I I really tried to hold back like the fangirling and I hate to say that, I know that's really rude, but I, I, I'd known of his work since he was on Broadway and he did uh, King of the World that really inspired me to do, to be in musicals and stuff. And I immediately told him, 
you know, thanks. For, I don't know why. I was just like, thanks for everything you do. Like I was already. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, yeah. and girling. It was way. yeah. yeah. You uh, open Webster's and there's Jonathan bang, right bang over. Bill and uh, he treated me so well. In mm. fact, we were we talked for hours, and it was so casual, not about anything. We didn't talk about his work or anything, even though I really wanted to, and tell him how he changed my life and stuff like that. And it was he was he told me I was an inspiration. He told me how beautiful I was as a person and great meeting me. And he was so humble and he deserves everything that's coming to him. I have to uh, to reveal something that we haven't revealed yet. Um, he uh, had allocated a very short uh, amount of time for the interview, and he gave me 30 minutes. Mm. And uh, I logged in. I was on a cruise ship uh, when I did the interview. And when uh, when he came in and I came in to, uh, to do the interview, I was uh, fangirly. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not inappropriate. Um, for the first uh, minute or so. And then I was really shocked. And the reason I was really shocked is because he was doing the interview in bed. It was, <laughs> bed. Hey, hey. was, not it was like Brown exactly, and 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 did that. Uh, I, I'm curious of all of the things, uh, entertainment roles that uh, Billy Porter has done. What's your favorite? So my first. Uh, Introduction to Billy Porter is also a big aspect of me building who I am as a person today. I saw him on Broadway in Kinky Boots. Mm -hmm. I was a teenager at that time. I was young. I am young. Last year. Got it. Yeah. Just months ago. <laughs> but it, it shook me to my core and realized, oh, I can actually be like the way I want to be. And I get to act the way I want to act and have no repercussions. Which is exactly the theme of Kinky Boats. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, that show changed me. And he changed me. And I will say, every moment in that show with him was just, everyone in that uh, audience was going crazy. And um, uh, Love Me As You Are, nope. There's one song, this grand finale solo uh, song in Kinky Boots that he does. And just standing ovation, solid five minutes. It yeah. just, everyone was in tears. Yeah. I have to, I have to I say. I saw you go for I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm curious. Uh, he was the first person that I ever heard utter the words, and the category is. Mm -hmm. I had never Pray heard tell. that phrase before. Oh, you had it. Pray tell. Oh, yeah. I had never heard that before. My very first club that I ever went out to, uh, my roommate was uh, was black and out, and that was where we went to was uh, was the ball. Called level two in Tampa. So it was balls and drag kings and just things that you weren't seeing in white clubs at the time. Yeah. But I have to give you a little bit of props. And I don't need, need to kiss your butt, I'm already in the chair. Mm -hmm. But this is a great <laughs> so interview. What you pulled out of him and just allowing him to be himself and, and even go for kind of the caddy and the, and it's, it's a fantastic yeah. interview. If you, you haven't seen it. I, 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 have to, I have to tell you, thank you for saying that. Um, we're very proud of what we're, uh, what we're going to show the viewing audience because while he's in bed, uh, he plays with his braids through the entire, which he slapped me with, by the way. <laughs> and he slapped me with them, yeah. literally. Um, he talks about uh, things like uh, walking, uh, his fashion inspiration, mm. doing the red carpet and doing the Met Gala with four muscle boys uh, <laughs> on harnesses leading him into the Met Gala and uh, his fashion and high heels and dresses on the red carpet. And I where that him, comes from. Yeah, yeah that exactly. Was yes, it that's such from. a good question. And, uh, and, his, uh, and my observation, wow, you've had such an impact because even this summer at, uh, at a film festival in Japan, um, Brad Pitt wore a dress on the inspiration from what you did. And his answer uh, in long and short is, I'm flattered, I'm flattered, I'm flattered. <laughs> But wait a minute. Yep. Yeah. I did it first. Yeah. Brad, you're not taking that away from me and just basically pounded and doing it. Mm. I'm curious. Um, I also said to him, every gay man needs a fairy godmother. Oh, mm. that role. I mean, <laughs> if someone was going to take over Whitney, mm. because father all in fidelity, fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Yeah, I yeah. mean, she was immaculate yeah. in that Rogers yeah. and Hammerstein role. Mm. And so I was so glad when I, when I heard that they cast him, I was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want anybody else. I got to ask him, what's the inspiration of that? Because that, that role is just so beyond. You're so beyond out there. And he explains where his inspiration was. And, and I'm not revealing anything out of the ordinary because you're going to see him say it. But his inspiration uh, was conservative black church. 
Sure. I would go to Sunday church. Pentecostal. He said, first lady. I watched first, the interview. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. First lady. And for those of you who do not know what that means, that's the pastor's wife. The okay. pastor's wife. I grew up Big a little white boy in a church, so I understand yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. So we're, he gave it we've, all. we've shown snippets. Uh, we're going to show you the full interview, and it's uh, really uh, quite quite amazing. You're going to enjoy it very much. And he speaks out. And, and also, one other thing I should say about Billy Porter. Of course, we talked about politics. And of course, we talked about politics in Florida. Mm. And he used the F bomb on <laughs> Governor DeSantis like 12 times. Yeah. Oh. And the oh. most important thing that I think he's going to say that all of us are going to find uh, inspirational is don't despair. Because we've seen this before, we know exactly what they're doing. We won the midterms. We may have lost Florida, but overall we won. So we get two more years of democracy. Now, we don't know what's going to happen in 24. Yeah, we may yeah. lose it all. But for the next two years, yeah, let's, let's work very count. hard mm -hmm. to no, protect what we have. Parties. That's, it, was, it was beautiful. Billy Porter, congratulations. Good. And we love that you kissed. The first time ever, by the way, the history of that at the Walk of that Fame was. where a gay man kisses his husband at the Walk of Fame. That took long enough. First time I think it's history. also good to note, too, because right with the Senate passing, uh, the most uh, in recognizing equality in our marriage, uh, it's also about interracial marriages. Mm -hmm. yep. And yeah. that was a historic moment yeah. as well. Not only is he gay, not only, he's also married to a white man. Yes. So like, you know. Yeah. yeah. Clarence important. Thomas, pay attention. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and if production can help me with the clock, I would appreciate it. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.